Church Track gives you the ability to create different types of accounting rules, or what we call import rules, for all of your transactions to make it easier to use the software. So let me show you how that works. Uh, so select any account in Church Track, and then go to your import button. And then from the actions, you have the ability to manage your import rules. So when I select that, that brings me to my import rules screen that lists all the import rules I have. Now, as you can see, I don't have any rules. So I'm going to go ahead and create a rule. And if you're wondering, what does an import rule even do? Well, this is gonna show you exactly what it does. So I want to create a rule for, I tell you what, I can't remember. So let's go back. Let's look at what I'm importing to help me. And this is what I would encourage you to do as well. So I've got these accounting transactions that I want to go ahead and review and then import into my software. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I like my accounting to look good. And I like to not have the payee description have a long string of specific characters and weird numbers and things like that. And I like the categories to all automatically be pre-assigned. I don't wanna have to do all this every single time I'm either importing transactions into church track or using the bank sync feature to bring those transactions over and that's why import rules are so great for this so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and first make a rule Ooh, how about the Comcast cable so this is our church internet I want it to say church internet in the description and I want it to go to the right category automatically I don't want to have to keep doing this every time and that's what rules are about is really saving you a lot of time so actions manage my import rules and then I'll go ahead and create my first rule and this is going to be called church internet and I'm gonna apply this rule to all accounts and you can apply a rule to a specific account. And so if an imported transaction rule matches this criteria and in this cir circumstance, I'm gonna say the payee contains Comcast because that is the name of our internet provider. And then I can automatically apply the actions below. Now, one thing to note is you can have a rule that skips transactions. This is not very common, uh, but occasionally you may have a situation where you want the software to automatically skip over certain types of transactions. You can create rules to tell the software to do that. Now, I want this to go ahead and change Comcast with all those weird numbers and characters and everything. I want it to just say church internet because I want my church books to look great. And then I want to go ahead and set a default category for this. And I've already created a category in Church Track, which I highly recommend you do. And that is church internet under my utilities category here, good. And then I can sp set a specific fund, general fund. And there we go. I could add a transaction tag if I'd like to take things even further or add a note to that transaction automatically with this, this particular rule. So I'll go ahead, select add rule, and then I am done. So let me show you what happens now. I've created this rule and everything. Let's jump back to my import of all my transactions that I'm wanting to import over into my account register. So if I select the action now, I can reapply rules. So I want you to watch really closely at that Comcast cable bill. So I reapply rules now, boom. Now it says church internet with the internet category. And this is just one example. I could take things further. Now let's say in this case, you know, anything that goes to the UPS store, I want this to automatically go to a specific category for our church, uh, but I don't need to change the name and everything. I can create a quick rule for that as well. And so I will go ahead and go back to manage import rules. And I'm gonna add another rule. And I am gonna call this one, how about the mail rule? And then I will apply this transaction. I just typically select all accounts, but again, you can really specify which account you want a rule to apply to. Now, I'm not gonna do anything with the payee. Yes, I am, Never mind. The payee contains UPS. So UPS in this circumstance. And then I will say that if the payee contains UPS, what I want it to do is automatically apply a certain category. Now I think I already have it created, there it is, office expenses, and there's my mailing subcategory there, and I can apply that to my general fund, and there we go. So that's it, I will add this rule, and so now from here on out, anything that contains UPS is automatically going to get applied there. So let's double check. I'll return to my import, 
and then I will go ahead and reapply my rules. Now again, you have to reapply rules once you've already imported things over into Church Track, whether that's through our bank sync feature or using the import process um, by selecting the upload file uh, button here. So go ahead, reapply rules, and watch that UPS store category. There you go, it switched to my mailing category. And you can create as many rules as you would like in Church Track. I have a feeling as you get going, you'll start creating a lot of different rules to really specify everything into the categories. And just keep in mind, the more you create all these rules, the more you are saving yourself time and the more you are able to better categorize things in Church Track and be specific with your different accounting tags and notes. It's a great thing. Uh, and one thing I do wanna quickly mention before we're done is whenever I go to my uh, rules, so managing my import rules, you actually have the ability to make a rule either active or inactive, that's an option. Um, you can also move rules around in different priorities. Now, I, know, I already know what you're thinking. Wes, why would I want to have a rule moved around? Why does that matter? So we've created these import rules to be sequential. So what the software will automatically do is as it's going through those rules when it's looking at all of your transactions to apply rules to, once it hits a certain rule, it's done, it applies that rule, it doesn't continue down the list. So if you have a situation in which you have a couple different rules you want to be applied, um, you need to be cognizant of that, that you need to have the right priority. So if there's this particular rule that you always want to have applied over a cert another rule, make sure that rule is on a higher priority if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. But now as always, if you do need any additional help using any of our accounting features or any feature in Church Track for that matter, uh, always be sure to check out our online user guide, reach out to our support team, create a support ticket, and don't forget we have a lot of videos just like the one you're watching on our YouTube channel. Till next time.